So these are the things. The people skill, you have to engage in the assignment, doing the assignments, you have to engage them into it. You have to engage the auditor into your audit assignment, not checking on them. In 1960s, I, I was told, I was told that uh, internal auditing is, is more like a police. <laughs> Rather, they, they come, they close those, 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 those door, main doors, okay, all of you cannot go back until you clear. <laughs> that is more like an MSEC style. Rather, <laughs> auditors are not investigators. Eh? Uh, uh, we, we can assume investigator roles when needed, but we are not investigated by nature. Mm -hmm. uh, so the IPP is very clear on our roles. We are here to give assurance and add value. Remember that. This is a very interesting um, topic, basically. But, um, but just share with us. I think the, the most important thing, I'm a person who believes I do first thing right. Okay. Uh, before we even go into to, to the audit assignment, we we'll normally do a lot of background checks mm -hmm. on the person that we're going to communicate and the person, the company that we're going to the audit, the industry the company is. You know, Let's say you have uh, 100 subsidiaries in a conglomerate like Sam Rabi. Mm -hmm. you know, they have automotive, they have plantation. Yes. So uh, the industry are different. You have to study industry first. Then the company they're going to audit, the subsidiary. Mm -hmm. Then the people you will communicate, look at their background and things like that. That's very important. And and if they come to know that they have a history of, you know, getting angry and things like that, so we must know how to deal with them. Uh, normally, we, if you, we have to do it in a very structured manner. Uh, normally, why people get angry? Because two things. They have no time to entertain you. Another one, they want to hide something from you. Mm -hmm. So it's like uh, they have no time, then you have to give them time. Okay, uh, how that we can help you, you know. You cannot just send an email, list down thing, please give me in two weeks time. That is a very unprofessional way of asking, you know. Uh, normally we approach in opening meetings, uh, we tell them, uh, normally I, I spend a lot of time in opening meeting, clarify our role, responsibility, how can I help you guys. I normally get the information, the problem they're facing. So, oh, okay, so they, they, okay, you, you came here to help me? Okay, okay, fine. So you have to give them the engaging part of why you are here. You are here basically to check on them and find faults. You're in the wrong profession. Yeah. Rem remember, add value. IIM uh, is an institute under the IIA Global, eh? mm -hmm. uh, which is head 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 headquartered in. in in yes. US, okay. Uh, we have been around for almost 40 years uh, since our inception. Uh, we are comp in Malaysia. We are company limited by guarantee. Mm -hmm. We has around 3,000 members uh, and around 800 um, chief internal auditors. Uh, sorry, uh, people with a CIA qualified. Um, 800. 800 CIA qualified. Mm -hmm. uh, other than the we are. Uh, governing body in Malaysia on behalf of IA Global on the internal profession in Malaysia. Uh, we, so if you, are a, you want to uh, get a qualification uh, that you want to practice an internal audit, auditor's profession in Malaysia, you have to be registered with us because uh, it's not compulsory, but there are some most of the most of the employer asking your CIA, mem uh, your, your IIM membership mm -hmm. uh, in order for you to uh, qualify to perform your, your internal duties in Malaysia. This is applicable both in in a private sector and also public sector. Um, so uh, other than the exams that we provide, we provide a CIA, we also have CA, CJEP mm -hmm. and also uh, CSA. Um, but the most important one is a CIA that um, they give you a niche among your other peers. Okay, it's an internationally recognized qualification. Um, we do uh, perform in Malaysia. Okay, the certification will be issued once you are com successfully completed. The certification issued from US. It's a is a qualification internationally recognized. Okay, other than the so what IIM does, uh, IIM Malaysia does. 
Uh, we brought uh, many facilities to the members, uh, including um, like any uh, magazines, uh, monthly magazines. And the most important one is that uh, we give uh, training, uh, CPD, uh, Continue Professional Development for members at a very reasonable rate. So we subsidize uh, most of the trainings that you give, you know. You can see uh, we provide uh, very niche internal audit trainings. We also provide uh, conferences, uh, for example, audit committee conferences, national conferences, or we bring in speakers from overseas, you know, at a very reasonable rate for the members. So it's all subsidized. Uh, we are non-profit organizations. So whatever proceed that we, we make, it also goes to the members' benefits uh, in the end. Uh, we have about 15 uh, governors in the Institute of Internalities in Malaysia that govern the the day-to-day the -day operation of the Institute in Malaysia. Okay. Uh, other than that, uh, the we other than the CPDs and trainings, we also have a members uh, network sections mm -hmm. that we do, and we connect our members between members so that uh, we we share things, we update our members with the with the newest. Uh, uh, um, circulars, resolutions, or, or, or updates in the industry mm -hmm. regarding the professions. Uh, recently, last year, we have uh, MACC uh, came in picture. We play a big role in it. You know, mm -hmm. finally, we came into move that uh, you know internal audit is, is recognized in there. The function of internal audit is make it compulsory. You know, mm -hmm. uh, in Bursa Malaysia and listed company. You know, so those are initiatives that I am does uh, partially. At the same time, uh, we also have these um, uh, members that uh, we can find job for them. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have those those things, you know. There are some uh, our our member companies, yeah? companies organization that become a corporate member with us. They do advertise the vacancies in our portals, mm -hmm. so the members can pick it up. So those are one of the service. Uh, another service is that uh, we become uh, uh, their voice. When you are dealing with a profession in, a, in, in with the government, mm -hmm. you know, uh, to strengthen more and organizations, we are moving towards uh, uh, to get a more recognitions, like how MI does, you know, mm -hmm. and we also collaborate uh, with the other uh, institute, professional institute, namely MIA, uh, Bank Negara Bursa, you know, uh, to enhance the corporate governance uh, environment in Malaysia. See, the members are governed, uh, the moment you become a member, you are governed under the Code of, uh, code of Conduct. Mm -hmm. and, and we also have our own uh, disciplinary sessions. With them. And we also monitor their progress to our CPD programs. Mm -hmm. So there are certain requirements uh, of members that you have to complete certain number of CPDs mm -hmm. in order for you to be, continue to be a member. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, at the same time, uh, you also have to have these uh, uh, code of conduct, uh, which is instilled inside the IPPF, uh, strictly monitored. Uh, we have our own disciplinary committee uh, in our board. Uh, any disciplinary cases against the members, we will review it, you know, on timely basis whenever there is case, and we will take action accordingly. First of all, uh, first of all, uh, uh, well, that is uh, auditing is never dry, even though the perspective out there is because maybe they didn't get the perspective from the right person. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe uh, by the, you allow the institute to do more and more uh, uh, sharing sessions mm -hmm. uh, with the industry experts, with the student, they probably will have a better glimpse of what actually happening. Uh, actually, uh, the the the. The best part is that uh, despite of, of, of being uh, a, being a um, dry perspective, uh, there's a high demand for the internal auditors moving forward, you know. Uh, actually, uh, we, have, uh, we need about 3,000 uh, CIA qualified uh, person in Malaysia, but currently we only have 800. Yeah, it's, it's. so because of that, a lot of our, our, our initiative has been dampened uh, because Malaysia is a progressive nation, uh, especially in terms of, of corporate governance. We still uh, uh, occupy a very high level international uh, perspective. You know, uh, for example, China, China have about 80,000 CIA qualified. 
80,000. 80,000 CIA qualified member, you know, compared to us, it's only for 800. Okay, so we need at least about 3,000 to make it, make it happen. There's a high demand in this. You, you can go and Google it in the job street. But the moment you put the internal, let's see what are the vacancies uh, that we have. So, uh, the, the, so there's one thing is that is, is there's a high demand for a job uh, compared to any other professions. Second thing is that um, uh, this is a buy in. The salaries are also in a demand side. Um, the internal audit, ex ex internal audit executives are also paid high uh, compared to any other uh, accounting uh, administrative positions uh, similar to it. So, uh, is, is, is more reason for, for the students for to, the to, to actually uh, take a look into these professions. Mm -hmm.